we're back so we are doing our valentine's day video today so this is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. The color I use is 355 Coconut. Also, my hands are ashy, I know. I wash them, and I'm not gonna put no lotion on because I don't like to have lotion on my hands while I'm doing my makeup because I feel like I'm spraying all over my face. Also, y'all, do y'all notice something? I'm using both my hands. I got me a little, I got me a real big ghetto mirror from the beauty supply store and prop that thing right up. And now I ain't gotta be like this no more in front of y'all and you can like see me put my makeup on is that, is that the whole point um i like how it applies it blends out super easy it is very blendable um i like how it applies the best with a beauty blender although sometimes i do use um this flat foundation brush like in the morning if i'm short on time i don't have time to like damp in my beauty blender and whatnot and it says matte but it's not like i've used make sure you work it down girl work it down um i've used foundations before that were not matte or that were matte and they were matte matte like they like my skin looked horrible we're gonna use the fenty concealer to me it dries quick and it gets a little tacky so i like to work with it under one eye first and then move to the other one i don't like it with a brush i tried it with one of my own and it was not the bees knees this is the nyx or nyx can't stop won't stop concealer in warm honey this is way way yellow yellow um, and I'm just going to put this right here just to like get it really bright like I like under my eyes. And I'm going to put a little bit right here just like on that focal point so it's all like right down. Right on top and I just put that at the base like you don't want it to cover everything um, you just kind of want it to be the focal point so the center everything this is the Fenty powder I have the shade honey because I like it bright I'm sorry that I'm not looking at y'all, I'm looking at the mirror because this is just like a whole new world not having on my mirror. If you put in, um, your setting powder on and it's creased already, you're just setting your creases. Like, so what I do is I try to keep looking up. I go ahead, pack, pat in my setting powder, looking up. Keep your eyes up, ladies, keep your eyes up. And then you can look down after you've placed it not before not a second before i personally like this setting powder only with a big brush like this a big powder brush when i put it on with a beauty blender it just looks too cakey it's too 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 cakey um so now we're gonna do our brows i won't fast forward through because i know it's been a while since i did my brows on camera for you guys and it's so much easier now because I got on my mirror. I'm still using the Lime Prime. Um, although I have found a new like everyday product that I really like to use. It's a pencil. That's just like a quicker alternative. Like if I have time to do this, I will. So I use the brow gel first and then I go in with the pencil or the, what is this? Pen, the precision pen looks a little bit more natural when I don't like fully draw it in I just use this to like fill in the sparse areas like you see how that is like a little bit harsh up there quickly quickly um I get a, a spoolie brush and I just brush through it and it usually like works itself out see that's 
her brows aren't crazy looking. We have these two Marc Jacob palettes. This one is purple and this one is pink. I might be using that pink. Um, and then we have the back talk, which looks like that. It's pretty neutral. And then we have Pat, which looks like this. She has some options. Okay, I need one of you guys. Um, so I'm gonna use WTF from the Back Talk palette. It's just like a nice brown. And I'm just gonna put that like in my crease. This is the Morphe M518. That's cute. I kind of want like a brown look with a pink haze. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. This Marc Jacobs, the color of this, the color of this is in bed, and this is a 710 Provocateur palette from Marc. I'm gonna use that same brush. I'm really scared it's gonna get all of my shirt, but whatever. And I'm just gonna start all the way up high and blend it in shades like this i feel like you are gonna need like some time to work with it especially like on my skin tone So I'm just gonna like put a little bit in that my outer V to like act like that was intended to deepen. You have to really work with what you get in makeup. Okay. Now we're gonna use this brush from Real Techniques. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush. Crease brush. Um. It's a fluffy brush, but it's a big denser, so it's better for like packing on stuff to your lids. Now, I want to use a brown. I think I might use this brown. It's matte. Just really pack it into like the outer corner, the crease area. This is another shirt. Uh, Real Techniques brush. This is the base shadow brush, but I never use it for that. And I just took, so she has a matte brown and she has a shimmery brown. I'm just taking a little bit of that shimmery brown. I'm just gonna go on top of it. So I feel like it just needs a little like something to deepen it up a bit. Now we're going to place our concealer on our lid. The concealer is just to, I'm not doing really like a cut crease per se, but it's just so that you can see like the shade that I'm gonna put on. Like, you know what, and I always try to use a brush and I can never, even when I fix my fingers to pick it up, it just don't even feel right. And I know like some people have asked me like how do you keep it so controlled and like in a certain space with your finger. I wish I could tell you. I, I really don't know. I just like know how I want it to look. Practice. That's all I can say. <laughs> Practice. Um, so we're gonna use this shade, surprise, surprise. Valentine's Day, y'all. I wanted to give it a try. Cause we're doing new things every time i told y'all every time i get ready to do a video don't they come out in that hallway oh you know what else i forgot my brush is a little damp so that probably helped with this application too and then i have a new eyeliner from julep um, it is their one pencil met gel. These are really good. I've been using the brown one. Okay, girl. The day to day. Um, this what colors? This is a dark purple. It's called Ab. What is this? Aubergine. Oh, good lord. I 
All right, so now we're gonna contour. All right, my eyes came out way better than I thought they would. Now we're gonna use a little bit of our soft focus to like help blend that and bring it all together. We're gonna use the same exact brush. I don't even know I put you up. Just do a light swivel and just like brings everything together. That's all for you, girl. We're going to do our highlight. We're using our NARS, like our y'all spurs. I don't like if do y'all have any like new highlights that y'all are using or that you like want to see use like let me know I just got me a support gift card I really like it to be like as bright as possible right there so more the better so we have all our face makeup down, so I, we're gonna go ahead and spray our face down with our setting spray. This is the Maybelline Master Fix. Mm. You always wanna do that before you put your mascara on, cause then it's gonna be like running and you want that. I ran out of my mascara, so I got one of these little ones from work. <laughs> this is the Colossal Volume, and it's a bomb. It's a bomb mascara if you don't um, wear false eyelashes this will really really help you out help you through the struggle okay so we're gonna line our lips now with our coco loco this is all i have left of coco loco i'm scared for it because if this tip breaks ooh, child. I am trying this Pat McGrath's Divine New Liquid Lipstick. And then I'm gonna top it off with some gloss cause that's cute, but I want a gloss. So this is a Fenty Fussy Lip Gloss. Ooh, yes. Mm -hmm. You always need a gloss on top. You always need a gloss on top. Mm. You told me I ain't cute. All right, y'all. That's it for our vlog. Girl, you got with the slick on. A man's just gonna like it. Or you gonna catch you a man one. Or a girl. Whatever you like. Don't forget to follow on Instagram at Niara Alexis. Check out the blog, NiaraAlexis.com. Much more content goes up than just these videos on there. So if you're interested, go look. Okay? And then don't forget to subscribe, y'all, because once we get a 1,000, we're having a giveaway. And I have not worked out the details in my mind, but it's coming. Okay? So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.